next video we're watching is very interesting but before we we'll continue please do where to subscribe if you are enjoying this video like so that youtube will promote this video this next video some of you might not like what i will say but then i'll try to balance things out let's watch you not get your son anything for christmas because i paid child support i don't care about no child no, that's child support said I paid bro no child shut support. up let me talk don't give him no gifts bro i'm I'm tired of this. Like, I'm really tired of finding you, chasing you, for you, you to crazy. get something for your son. Get that out of my face. Man, hey, I paid child support. I paid $20 child care. support. Mom said don't First get of all, no gifts. I will say that I don't like the way this lady is speaking to this man. It gives us shade of disrespect. And I am very, very much a person that stands for kids when it comes to this kind of situation because in as much as you might not like or love whoever you used to date or who you have kids with you should still learn how to respect each other because however you guys treat yourself will end up affecting that child and in this situation the way the lady is speaking it's not giving a like a respectful attitude so like in this video maybe this might be my major major issue with this young lady because her tone isn't really respectful even if um the guy is not doing something right there are different ways of communicating your pain or your emotions that doesn't have to come up very insulting and degrading and all this kind of situation but at the end of the day i just hope that um you guys whenever even this situation that you end up thinking about the kids more but then let's keep watching this video because um I think uh, I want to say some interesting things about the man also. Man, hey, I pay child support. I pay $20 on child care. support. Mom said don't get no gifts. I don't care what your mama said. I'm so tired of your mom. The you ain't your support. mom. Y'all go back to You got me all blocked in and said chill Bro, out. First of so, all, first um, of all, get without even knowing the dynamics in this relationship before now, I can tell you two things that messed up this relationship. That's if there ever was a relationship. One, the guy has a mommy issue problem two the lady is very disrespectful so and these two things are even enough to actually wreck any relationship the guy has a mommy issue because um he's listening to his mom which is i'm not saying don't listen to your parents but then this is something that shouldn't be happening like your mom shouldn't be telling you not to buy a christmas gift for your kid it's very strange like it's very very strange and this seems like the way she responded it seems like yeah the the guy was always listening to his mom when they were in a relationship and he affected their relationship in one way or the other that's why she actually like freaked out when she <laughs> when he mentioned the mom issue and maybe for some of you that don't get the gist yet like this is a lady and a guy probably have a kid together and then the problem is that the guy did not buy a christmas gift for the child Let's keep watching. First of all, why you didn't do? You got me all blocked in and said, "Chill Bro, out." First of all, first of all, get that face. I'm not doing nothing. First of all, why you didn't just get him something for Christmas? Like, because I paid you child support. You had all year to save Take up. Take the child support. No, I don't beans. care about child support. Man, hey, if you don't care about child support, then why? I'm on my Bro, like because I'm here trying to make sure you get him from you at the mall. Go yeah. get him a gift. I'm, I'm gonna stay no right here. Give me an album I'm gonna be right years. here, and I'm gonna wait, I'm and you gonna want for New Year's? Bro. I'm, camera, like, no, I'm being serious bro, right now. I'm gonna sit right here and you're gonna go inside and get in him front a of gift. my car. Yes, I'm gonna sit right you sound here. Crazy. Dude, I'm so tired of you. You like, sound crazy. Bro, just go inside and get your son a gift for Christmas. Oh, Why I, I gotta beg you to get him a gift for Christmas, support. bro? Take the 2200 go in the I mall yourself. No. And get the gift. You go get it, bro. I have him all the time. Man, hey, man, I'm, I'm hey, with him 24 7. You can't go inside and get Okay, but you get a lot of money when they get 2200 What is $2,200? Okay, it's money. That's broke boy money. No, it's not. That's You can't pay $2,200? I pay you every month. Bro, bro daycare is 2000 alone. Oh, my God. I so, what I'm going to do with $200? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to watch me. Mama, what about your mom? She'll watch it. I already told you that. Bro, already. she's yet to watch him. Hey, she didn't, did she get him again? Did you know nothing. She did, said you your mom, did your mom get him again? I'm saying, I'm almost saying. I'm almost saying I'm paying twenty one dollars a month. I mean, there there are a lot of things wrong with this couple. Like 
or ex couples but then like like i said earlier like the way she's approaching it, she's very very aggressive about it i know she might be angry and other stuff but no nah, it still doesn't give it, it it's 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 not nice i don't think that's very nice being that aggressive i think this is part of the reason probably they broke up and then the guy is seeing his mom now that's crazy see i feel like sometimes when like i said earlier when you're having this kind of situation like you're a single parent single parents there's a kid you guys are not together i think both of you should be matured enough to know that you should be prioritizing your kids i understand that this guy is paying two thousand two hundred dollars for child support that's a lot of money she called it broke boy money but that's serious that's a lot of money but then outside of that this christmas gift we're talking about is not even for the lady it's for your child so like are you trying to say that you don't love your child are you trying to say that you don't care about your child because you should be trying as much as possible to actually get involved in that child's life any way you can if you're a good parent if you're a good man you should be trying as possible to spend time with that child and even let's take for instance let's take for instance if they were couples and they were still together he will pay this child school fees, his daycare fees. He will buy clothes for this child. Every single dime that will be spent on that child, he will still that still do that. And even on Christmas Day, he will still buy this kids this child give a gift apart from everything he has done for this child previously. You see why this doesn't make any sense. You see why this doesn't make any sense, because he is not thinking about the child. He's thinking about the lady. He's thinking about his pain. His anger for her that's why he's not prioritizing the child in this case and the mom's situation is so annoying too because i mean as a mom you should know where this girl is coming from even if you hate the girl too or even if you don't like the girl this is the ch- we're talking about the child the child is the center of the whole I- situation i mean i i think this is a general advice to every single parent out there who is listening to me right now see in as much as you might dislike your ex or who you had a child with i want you to try as much as possible to understand that it's not about those ex it's not about what whoever they are whatever they have done is about the child now your focus should be on looking after this child even if they have a full custody of the child you should try as much as possible to build some kind of relationship with this child try as much as possible to buy them things where you can on your own even if you're paying child support and i know some people don't know that child support is calculated based on the man's income so if the man is paying two thousand two hundred dollars that means he's making enough money to be paying that there will no, no courts will actually put you on a child support that doesn't equate to what you are earning monthly or yearly so i've watched a lot of videos on this and i know that that's how it works so it's not like the, the money might sound it's too big but then if that man is making like over like say six hundred thousand a year he will pay even off close to ten thousand dollars child support or something like that because that's how it's calculated it's not it's not about um whether it's big or small right now it's about how much you make so in this case yes you are paying that that seems like it's a lot of money to you and all this kind of stuff because you're paying it and you're paying it maybe to the woman and you're imagining in your head somewhere that maybe she's using also for herself well she was probably using it for herself it doesn't most times it doesn't go just to the child but at the end of the day you do what you have to do and then support your child as much as you can and i think i don't know how it works when it comes to trying to find just um joint custody where you have the child over at some point and she has the child over at some point but then i think in this case i think around this conversation it seems like there was a point where she wanted the mom or the guy to take the child and look after the child but then they were not given that vibe that they want to so i think this this is the problem and most times it the, the kids get bonds in the situation but then if you're a mature adult know how to separate your hatred or your pain for an ex from your child your child shouldn't be the one supporting for whatever you have the, whatever problem you have with your ex so um that's why in this particular video in this particular situation i kind of i don't agree with the guy the guy sounded a little bit immature involving my mom said i shouldn't pay my mom said i shouldn't buy gifts it doesn't make any sense it shows that you actually don't care about your daughter or your son whoever whatever gender they are your child so um yeah it's it's not sounding nice to me it's not making any much sense from the guy's perspective and the young lady so aggressive if you're a young lady out there try to not be aggressive try to not be disrespectful even when you don't agree with people it doesn't just rub well off on you because 
in as much as you think this is because you hate this person or whatever this is probably how you are in general so even if you're in another relationship right now this similar thing will affect that relationship anyway i've spoken so much about this and i think we're coming to the end of today so please do where to subscribe do where to turn on the notification bell so that you notify like this video so that youtube will promote this video more and check out this video here check out the videos here 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 and you will be learning much more from me all right guys take care of yourselves see you guys in the next video bye